Hello everyone, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now I'll continue my lectures on the biomolecules, lecture number 12. In previous video, I had discussed the glucose structure elucidation. Okay, uh, plenty of the reactions will be discussed on the glucose. It will give the like a structure of glucose on open chain model. So like this. Okay, this is the open chain structure of the glucose. Open chain structure of the glucose. So that open chain structure indicates here it having the a free aldehyde group. Free aldehyde group. So, but uh, some of the reactions will do not use the like free aldehyde reactions of the glucose. Free aldehyde reactions of the glucose. So, the, let, let us uh, discuss the those uh, who are not uh, those reagent uh, which are not given the like a uh, free aldehyde test of the glucose moiety. Okay. Now here, the first of all, here uh, sodium sulfate like a uh, sodium hydrogen sulfate or ammonia. Okay. So now here. Whenever the, our free aldehyde, generally free aldehyde will treat it with NaHSO3, it will use the like bisulfate moiety, bisulfate moiety. Or a free aldehyde can treat it with ammonia, it will use the like imine derivative, it will use the imine derivative. So whenever our glucose will treat it with sodium, uh, sodium hydrogen sulfate or ammonia, it doesn't react, it doesn't react. That means if it is glucose, if it is glucose, these two are not given the any appropriate reactions. That indicates here NaHSO3 and ammonia are weaker agent, weaker reducing agent. That weaker reducing agent cannot open the like cyclic chain of the compounds. Okay, we don't go for the uh, direct cyclic chain of the compound. Now here, if it is free OH is there, then it definitely it gives the, these two type of reaction. So these two are not given the glucose reactions that indicates here the free uh, free CHO is not there. Free CHO not the OH. Free aldehyde is not there in the our glucose mighty. That is the measure point. Okay. Now here there is no free H. No free CHO. So that is that was uh, explained by the NaHCO3 and ammonia. These are the weaker reducing agent. Okay. Now let us go through the second part. Now move on to the uh, second uh, second point glucose does not react with the shift test okay shift is the shift test is the colorless solution shift solution is the colorless solution a, a colorless solution will treat it with glucose or any free aldehyde moieties any like any free aldehyde it will use the like a red color precipitate red color precipitate in a bottom of the bottom of the any test tube or uh, like a uh, any type of tubes okay now here the colorless solution of the shift base will treat it with aldehyde it, it, it will gives the red precipitate uh, uh, red precipitate okay or a red color solution somewhat like that uh, okay now here whenever same colorless solution of the shift base will treat it with glucose it, it doesn't give the reaction it doesn't uh, gives the like red precipitate that indicates here there is no free CHO if free CHO is there then it definitely it gives the red precipitate now now our glucose cannot give the red precipitate that indicates here also uh, so this is also another example to uh, like uh, to stabilize us the uh, like a uh, formula of the no free CHO CHO present in the glucose moiety okay again it is also proved now the set third step so now here glucose does not react with 2,4 DNP test for the aldehyde. So we know that 2,4 DNP that is a, like um, here it is NH NH2 that is nothing but a hydrazine. Whenever which is a trip, uh, which is combining a phenyl ring then it is called phenyl hydrazine. So phenyl hydrazine having the second and fourth position as the nitro position. Okay now here 2 comma 4 dinitro 2 comma 4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine is called as a 2,4 DNP. Whenever the, we have the like any free CHO, free CHO, so here the hydrogen of hydrogen from the phenyl hydrazine 2,4 DNP and oxygen from the carbonyl, they both are condensed together. Now here the loss of water molecule, here it gives the like this type of uh, hydrazone H and the remaining mighty is same okay now here hydrogen becomes hydrozone through the condensation reaction so that is observed in any free type of aldehyde reactions free type of aldehyde reactions but whenever we will treat it with glucose glucose will treat it with 2,4 DNP again it doesn't give the reaction it doesn't give the reaction it is also help to helpful to like uh, stabilizes the those statement okay now again glucose pentaestate that is the fourth fourth one glucose pentaestate uh, cannot uh, react with the hydroxylamide so if it is pentaestate that indicates here aldehyde cho ch like a co ch3 which is treated with uh, like a 5 moles of uh, acetyl chloride we will get this 
this moiety CO CH3 okay so this is the reaction so here it is the pentaacetate glucose glucose pentaacetate whenever which is treated with hydroxylamine so here it is the like in similar previous case here the oxygen from the aldehyde and two moles of hydrogen from the hydroxylamine loss now here it forms the like oxime it forms the oxime now here whenever we will treat it with the glucose we cannot absorb these type of oxymes Okay, we cannot absorb this type of oxygen. So this is also again uh, <coughs> stabilizes the uh, about same statement. These four rules will give the like uh, a single statement. There is no possibility of the free aldehyde functionality in glucose. My okay, now move on to the fifth point here. So this is the glucose will treated with methanol in presence of dry HCl. We will get the like A plus B as a major product. That is like a mixture of the products. Mixture of the product. That mixture of the product that indicates here one of the compound is alpha isomer, another compound is beta isomer. Okay. Now here we will get the like a monoethyl uh, glucosidic bonds. Monoethyl glucosides. So now here one is alpha methyl glucoside and beta methyl glucoside. Okay. So this is the now what we will get the like a uh, glucose will treated with uh, methanol in presence of dry HCl. Okay, here these two are shown the like a short melting point. I'll explain those those points very clearly after some time. Now again the sixth point here also it gives the mixture of compounds. A single aldehyde cannot give the mixture of compound. That means a free aldehyde cannot give the a mixture of compound. So this reaction which also helpful to uh, against the open chain structure to against the open chain structure. Now the sixth one, an aqua solution of glucose will show the like a muta rotation. So, like a muta rotation is nothing but I'll explain the muta rotation in the next video. Okay, now the muta rotation is nothing but it is like a let us assume here it is the like a, a bike a speedometer. Okay, now here 10, 20. Like 60, 70, 90, around. Okay, let us assume it's not the exact. Okay, now here the molecule. So if any specific rotation of the any compound will show like a 110. Okay, so that is the original molecule or specific rotation. Whenever those compound will dissolve in the water molecule, that is aqua solution of that particular uh, compound. So whenever which is dissolved in the water, so the specific rotation will shift it somewhat, somewhat here. Okay. I will shift it somewhat here. Uh, uh, let us uh, we assume here 52.5. Okay, so this is the one of the isomer. It, let us assume here it is the alpha isomer. Again, beta isomer here it should be like a 19 point something. Okay, so now again beta isomer uh, compound, uh, some of the pinch of the compound which is taken in the aqua solution. Again, those aqua solution of that particular compound which is uh, present in the like our uh, specific uh, polarimetry. So now again, this uh, specific rotation will shift it towards the like 52.5. Okay, so now here it is the beta isomer. Okay, beta and alpha isomer, they both appear at a single point. Those point, those rotations are called like a muta rotation. Okay, now here our glucose will show the muta rotation. That indicates here it appears, it, it act, sorry. So here it appears as a two types of isomers, not the single open chain structure. Okay, these six points will give the, will confirm the glucose does not having Free aldehyde functionality. Free aldehyde functionality. Okay. Now, if it, if free aldehyde is not there, what is the alternative structure for the glucose? Now, let us go through the like a striplic structure of the alternative structure of the glucose. Okay, now let us go through the alternative structure of the uh, like a uh, glucose moiety. Okay, now here we know that a uh, glucose moiety structure. So this is the aldehyde. Okay, CH2OH. Now here HOH, OH, H, H, OH. HOH. Okay, so this is our like open chain structure of the glucose moiety. Open chain D glucose. Okay, so this is the D glucose structure. Whenever that means uh, whenever here it appears like a cyclic structure that indicates here it forms the like ME acetal ME acetal formation. Now let us go through the ME acetal formation. Now here it is the aldehyde. Aldehyde when, whenever treated with uh, like alcohol. That indicates here the OH of the OH of the alcohol uh, will attack over the electrophilic center of the carbonyl compound. Then it becomes O minus. That O minus will abstract the proton. Then it gives the then it appears OH again H here OR dash. 
O R dash. Whenever the O H and O R that is alcohol, alkoxy and hydroxyl group are present on the same carbon, then it is called hemiacetal. Then it is called hemiacetal. Whenever the, again the second mole of alcohol will treat it with uh, on hemiacetal. Again here the uh, like O H will attack over there. Then here O H group uh, along with uh, H plus of the alcohol or uh, second alcohol here it is eliminated as water moiety. Now we will get the like this type of compound O R double dash O R dash. Okay, two alkoxyl group uh, two alkoxyl group present on the same carbon. Then it is called acetal then it is called acetal structures okay now here one hydroxyl and one alkoxy group is there then it is a hemiacetal two alkoxy groups are there then it is a uh, acetal structure acetal structure now here it appears a cyclic, cyclic structure of glucose it appears a, like a hemiacetal so now here the oxygen lone pairs of the oxygen atom of the bottom that is fifth position now here a hemiacetals are fifth and sixth member rings are more stable now that's why here these oxygen lone pairs will attack over the like a carbonyl compound electrophilic center of the carbonyl compound in previous case we will observe the, like two different moieties one is the aldehyde another one is alcohol they both are combined together it gives the hemiacetal now here within the molecule here it is possible for the attack of the like a uh, oxygen nucleophile towards the electrophilic center of the carbonyl compound now here it appears like this okay now here it is oh h here it appears like these of the compound h o h h h o h h OH. Now here the oxygen lone pairs whenever attack over there then bonded to electron will shift it towards the oxygen atom then it becomes a negative. That negative negative charge on the oxygen atom will obstruct the proton. Okay. So here the negative charge of the oxygen atom will obstruct the proton then it becomes OH then it becomes OH. Now here uh, the carbonyl compound will appear like this carbonyl compound whenever the uh, like uh, our oxygen will attack the over the like uh, the, this of the position the carbonyl compound either shifted like left side or right side that means uh, OH appeared sometimes in left side OH appears sometimes in right side okay like uh, uh, OH of the compound will appear on the left side again some of the times here it appears like this why because it has the carbonyl compounds our nucleophilic attack uh, like a uh, portion um, proceeds through the like this manner that means here the carbonyl compounds which appears in the like a uh, straight chain then it, it shifted maybe left side or right side okay now here here it shift the right side of the compound H, H, O, H, H, O, H, H, O, H. Okay, now here CH two O H. Now it appears two types of uh, isomers. It appears uh, two types of isomers. This is called alpha D glucose. This is called all beta D glucose. Beta glucose. Originally, it is called as alpha D glucopyranose beta D glucopyranose okay now here this is the open chain structure this is a like a cyclic structure okay cyclic structures will give them like a two types of isomer one is alpha isomer and another one is beta isomer whenever OH group is right side then it is called alpha isomer so OH group is the left side then it is called beta isomer then it is called beta isomer a simplest structure of the glucose will appear so like these two types of uh, compounds one is alpha d glucopyranose beta d glucopyranose now here it is the open chain structure of the glucose open chain structure of the glucose so this is the simplest uh, uh, cyclic structure of the glucose these cyclic structures will explain by the like it's very simple reactions whenever the glucose compound here it is the uh, glucose moiety this glucose moiety will treat it with methanol in presence of dry hcl it appears uh, like a mono methyl gluco glucose derivative monomethyl ether okay now here that monomethyl here it forms the like a hemiacetal moiety so here we, we, we will discuss in previous case here it is the oh again o r group this is all the remaining group is let us assume here it is the remaining group is r now here oh oh and o r group on the same carbon then it is forms the like hemiacetal structure now here the hemiacetal structure uh, uh, like will appears hemiacetolic position we will methylated will methylated now again which is treated with same methanol and hcl it appears like here methanol 
Okay, now here, that's why here appears monomethyl ether, monomethyl ether. Okay, now here, these methanol compounds will give, will confirm the, like two isomers of the uh, cyclic structure of glucose, cyclic structure of glucose. Not only this, methanol HCl reaction, like uh, NaHSO3 and ammonia reaction, those are weaker reagents. Weaker reagents cannot open the cyclic chain. Okay, now here it appears the cyclic chain, that's why sodium hydrogen sulfate or ammonia does not open the cyclic chain. That's why these two are not given the sodium hydrogen sulfate or ammonia reaction. Again, phenyl hydrazine. Phenyl hydrazine definitely, if aldehyde group is present, definitely it will give them like a, a hydrozone. Hydrazine becomes hydrozone. Now here it it cannot give the hydrazine hydrozone. Why? Because aldehyde cannot present the like a free aldehyde. Okay, our glucose cannot present the free aldehyde. Sorry. Now here, why uh, why it is uh, it appears like uh, these type of uh, alpha and beta isomers, alpha and beta isomers. So now we will get the alpha and beta isomers of the cyclic structure. So these two cyclic structures will explain the uh, many of the reaction. Here also some of the complications are there, but many of the reactions will confirm the these two uh, these uh, cyclic structure of the glucose. These cyclic structure of the glucose. Now here again these two compounds will show the like a muta rotation. Okay, muta rotation. I, I don't want to discuss the, those muta rotation over here. I'll explain the muta rotation in next class. Okay, now here, the in, in previous case, we will assume the like a bike spirometry. Now here it is a alpha isomer, it's shown like a one, one, two degrees a specific rotation. Now beta isomer is shown 19.7 degrees specific rotation. Now here both are appears like open chain 52.5 degrees specific rotation so this 52.5 degree specific rotation is nothing but a, like a, a muta rotation of the glucose the aqueous solution of the glucose not the direct solution here in aqueous solution glucose will show the like 52.5 muta rotation okay so this is the simplest cyclic structure in next video i'll explain the like a cyclic structure confirmation and a Haworth projection like a fisher representation uh, like everything so among these two alpha and beta isomers which is more stable okay so that's all for this video this is the cyclic structure about the glucose mighty thank you so much for watching